So one thing I did want to talk to you about, because again, this is something that came from me listening to your podcast, is the rules of um, transitionary things on the radio. In other words, no back-to-back females, none of this, yeah. none of that. Up-tempo followed by a slow song. Never have two slow songs in a row, all of this stuff. Um, yeah. and, and that was very eye-opening to me as well. Now, I've never been involved in programming. I, I've, I've been friends with and really close friends with programming directors and things so i do kind of know how it works um but where i'm headed with this is the female artist who i feel like is really really unheralded in the world of radio and i feel like a female in order for them to get noticed in radio has to be like the best of the best whereas like a male artist has no trouble getting on the radio even with you know not being as good as some of the girls what could females in the industry do to get more more, I don't want to say more notice from radio, but just to, to be played more on radio. What can they do differently? Well, at, it's gotten easier in the last two or three years because we're getting a good influx of female artists. Um, <clears throat> I will say some of the some of the females, um, they have that. Uh, they went to vocal school or pageant school or whatever. You can always tell because when you're watching them play live, they'll go to the left side of the stage and they'll sing there for a minute and then they'll march over to the right side of the stage as they're singing for a minute and then they'll move back to the middle. It's just that it, it, it happens. I know this and I've seen it. But the thing is, the girls are doing very well right now. They're, uh, they're putting out some music that, that, that's perking some ears up and that's that's what it takes really you gotta you gotta stand out you know um the world's already got a miranda lambert the world's already got a reba we don't need another miranda we don't need another reba but they're 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 being themselves a lot of them now and i and i really dig that and i think you look at somebody like brie bagwell bless her heart that girl didn't get voted artist of the decade for no reason mm. she's been pounding the pavement for years but she's always true to herself she writes songs that are true to her and i think that's what the females have to do too but uh, you know so many so many people want to hear female the softer singing females kick it up a notch have some up tempo stuff man kelly willis never did mm. i mean Kelly Willis is one of the has one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard. She didn't have a bunch of that rock stuff and all that crap behind her back, you know. I mean, I think the females are doing what they more of them now are are being themselves, and that's what they got to do. You just got to be yourself. That's the thing about the Texas music: be yourself. You know, yeah. you can write songs about if you're if you literally grew up sitting out in the country on your tailgate, listening to the radio, drinking cold beer with your buddies. That's believable. Now, if some Nashville cat that comes from New York sings that to me, that ain't believable to me. You know, but the songs have to be believable. And the girls are doing a really good job right now of marketing themselves and with themselves together, too. And that's that does a lot of a lot of good, too, you know, because um, you know how it is. Them chicks stick together, man. So yeah, they, it's definitely gotten better. Um, since since yeah. I started interviewing in 2016, it's definitely gotten better. You see, you see more um, women artists on the charts, which means they're being played more, and that's good. Yeah. I just I, I yeah. just wish they had more of a, an equal chance um, because there are a lot of unique. Uh, female artists in Texas that don't get any love whatsoever from radio. And it's funny you, you talk about, you know, don't be a clone. We already have a Reba. We already have a, a Miranda. I mean, I yeah. would I would flip that uh, to look at males. We don't need more George Strait clones. And there's dozens oh. of them on the radio in Texas. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. I feel, I feel like true. the males don't have to be as unique as females to get noticed. And that's unfair to me, I feel. No, but you know what I've always said? It's all about the song. I agree. I agree. I've preached that for years. It's all about the song, man. I don't care what you look like. You can, hell, you get a guy like Jamie Richards. That dude has written. He's got a catalog. He's got a, a about a foot thick notebook of songs he's written that he's never recorded. Yeah, I love Jamie Richards. And, 
and man, he is like, I call him Mr. Country Music. He's our modern day Merle Haggard, man. I mean, but guys like that, he'll see, he could show up in a t-shirt and his tennis shoes, which I've seen him do that. And nobody would know. And just sit down and sing, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's all about the song, man, and how you present your song to me. Agreed. And, and females, the females are doing that just as well. I don't care if they're male or female. If if they sing me, if, if they send me a good song, or if they sit in the studio and sing me a good song, I'm gonna tell them that's a good song. I'll play that. Yeah. I don't care. And you are. That's why, like, I wanted to ask you that because you are one of the few that I feel um, in the industry that is a champion of female artists. Um, and yeah. So definitely wanted to get you. Um, on the record, talking about that because uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think I, I think that I mean, cause, God, who wants to listen to a radio station all day long of nothing but dudes? You know, I mean, not me. You that's it. for sure. But like, right. it, it was really eye opening to me though to hear you say that you weren't allowed to play back to back girls. And well, that was because back in those days when I was taught uh, programming and stuff like that by Eric Logan and Dave Dodson and those guys like that mike crow we uh that was the that's the old school way because there weren't that many females and you didn't want to burn up all of your all of your female songs because you wanted those sprinkled into the hour you don't want them back to back you know so that was just kind of the general rule back in the 90s man is like you just didn't play two females back to back and then and the old school rules of no no you know no two slow songs back to back and which I can understand that because God, I wouldn't yeah, really yeah, listen yeah. to that. Myself. So <laughs> those rules are obsolete now, then, right? So they don't exist anymore. Not really. No, I mean, uh, here at my station, I don't. I try not to play, but even though there's so many more females, I try not to play them back to back. I'll at least spread them out one or two songs, but just try not to play them back to back. But but I still do. So it, I mean, it really doesn't matter anymore, you know. Yeah, see, I, that would never work for me because I'd just be playing stuff that comes out of the cosmos. Like, a song will remind me of another song which will remind me of another song. And so the, <laughs> the programming would go out the window. That's why I would never, it yeah. would never work for me. Uh, see, Chris, that's why we have the music schedulers. It does it for you, man. You don't have to do that. Yeah. You don't even have to think. You hit a button and it does Oh, it. shoot, I'd be canceling that shit, man. I'd be like, no, 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 no. We want to hear something different here. Oh man. oh, man, it's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. 